Scipio 2 here again with another quick review video. Today I'm going to be talking about, hopefully briefly, I know some of my videos have been long, but uh, I picked up this Streamlight Protec HL. Honestly, I've had it about a month now and I've been using it and I am thoroughly impressed. What you see here is exactly what I got. I picked it up on Amazon for a little over 60 bucks. Uh, simple blister pack, two Duracell batteries, the removable belt clip, and this uh, sheath, for lack of a better term, I guess, your holster maybe. Uh, Velcro closure, Velcro fastener, like so. Uh, it will attach to your belt, your molly, whatever pretty much you want to put it on. And then, of course, the piece de resistance, the Streamlight Protec HL. This is a 600 lumen output flashlight, and when I tell you this bad boy is bright, it is bright like nothing you've seen before. There's been some people talking about its poor battery life and this feature where they call it the tin tap program. Um, Honestly, I like the three features the light has, so I haven't bothered trying to program them out. But, if you wanted to do that, you could. Basically, it has the three features of high, strobe, and low. The low is 35 lumens, which is pretty bright in itself for basic do whatever you need to. But, when you're talking about using it for a weapons light, that's 600 lumens is incredible. It came with the Duracell batteries as you see there. Simply screw the tail cap off, slide the Duracells in. They are the CR123 type and I know most of these would come with the Streamlight batteries you'd think but this one did not. It was factory sealed straight from Amazon so it is what it is and there's a nice little letter in there telling you to use only highly recommended name brand batteries and so forth but uh, regardless of that get a load of this I don't know how well this will do but look at it blinds it out it's got a soft touch tail cap protected on three sides with the ridges here and it's very soft touch slight raises on the front three as well glass can you hear that actual glass LED all aluminum. It's got these little icons on here warning hot. Um, I've used it for what I would consider prolonged use. I run it for about 30 maybe 40 minutes straight. It does get warm but I would not call it hot. The way this operates one touch full on. Second touch turns it off. If you wanted to go to the second mode it would be oops <laughs> This takes a little getting used to. And then you'd have your strobe. It's two taps and hold on the second one. Your next tap will turn it off. Then to go to low mode, you would one, two, three, and hold it, and there you have the low mode. Then the next tap, off it goes. Now, you could use the 10 tap program feature to set it up just about any way you want, but like I said, I'm happy with the default settings not gonna mess with it. Another gripe some people have had was about this clip. Now I've already taken mine off. Like most people I don't particularly care for it and don't have a need for it. Um, it is very tight and very secure when mounted to the light. But it's not as hard to take off as some people would suggest. It typically mounts right here. At least that's the way mine did. I have no idea how you would mount it up there. But to take it off, you simply unscrew the tail cap. O-ring sealed, by the way. I don't think I mentioned that. It's water resistant to, uh, what did they say, like one meter or three meters or something like that. But uh, anyway, there is ever so slightly a ridge right there. Ever so slightly. But when this is on here, if you can see this little notch right there. Just get you a small flat blade screwdriver, stick it in sideways, and use that for the leverage, and it literally pops right off. Just so easy. 
I don't know what everybody else is doing that are talking about making out to be such a major ordeal. Mm, really not. Anyway, comfortable in the hand, all aluminum, positive grip knurling all the way around except on these three sides where you have the tin tap feature listed there, the name and serial number of course there, and then the blank which is where your uh, clip would mount to. Has the anti-roll head where it's slightly squared, kind of like a octagon I guess. Uh, the head cap does not remove, does not loosen, just your tail cap. And again it is sealed, water resistant. Um, again, uh, came with that, that, the batteries as you saw, the stupid packaging, and 60 bucks. Uh, over a month of use, I'm still on the original batteries, still strong as ever. To say I'm impressed is an understatement. Um, go out and get you one. Don't think twice. Don't think twice. I mean, it is absolutely impressive piece of kit. Thanks for watching.